I want to go back a little bit in history, back to uh, 1960. Uh, back, we have a picture here, and it's a picture of uh, the Griffin family in Kilnestina, uh, South Tipperary, in uh, 1960. And the person I want to focus on is my older brother, Jim. Uh, he'll be 80 uh, this year, just about the time this uh, video will, will go up online. And uh, yeah, that was me in 1960 standing next to this Angley. It looks like an old Ford Angley of about that time in the 1960s, but th they went back into the 50s, late 50s, this particular type of Angley. But uh, this is not or any ordinary angle, because the man I'm, I'm talking about, Jim, Jim Griffin, was uh, something of a, a car uh, specialist, and he had built this car in such a way, there was a Vanguard chassis under that car, and inside, under the bonnet, was uh, a straight six TR1 engine, with two very large SU carburetors, like the likes of what you'd have in a Jaguar. And uh, there was a gearbox with about eight gears in it. And this car, Jim had it built so that it would do 150 miles an hour in 1960. And uh, he'd take it out on the M1 in London, because the M1 was just opened then just the late 50s and into 1960. And this car could do up to 150 miles an hour. And he was getting his fun out of uh, getting as close as he could to a Jag, uh, a Jag, uh, E-type Jag that time, they were just after coming out. And there was a very odd person had them. There was not very many people had them. Only the rich and famous had them. But Jim would get just behind the, the, the Jag and he'd wait until the Jag was gone into uh, tall gear. And then he'd go through his own gears and he had four electronic gears. And he'd switch that and he'd, when the car was flat out, the Jag, about doing about 120. He would slip his car into the top gear and he would just leave it there. And this thing, the front of it, would rise up a little bit. It would be like a speedboat. And just, you could see the Jag disappearing in the background. So he, the, the Jag would pull into the hard shoulder usually and start looking at his car and getting out of it and thinking that there was something broke. That, uh, I want to go back a little bit, but Jim had left school in uh, Lagenstown, County Tipperary, in uh, the late 1940s, something like about 48, 40, uh, 48, 47 even, you know, that he had left school at 13. And um, at that time, he, he, he was a natural born mechanic. So at that time the farmers were just getting away from horses and butts and horses and what you call like tub traps and things like that. That was the usual type of transport and they were getting into cars for the very first time. So Jim having experience, because my father here had the very first car into Kilnestina and that was in, uh, in, the, in the late 1930s. So he had learned from the, the expert, the father, who had, who had uh, the first mechanic. At that time there wasn't so many mechanics because uh, cars were new. And um, he, he learned quite a bit from my father. who was He was a, a shoemaker, but he also, because he was handy with his hands, he could do, turn his hands to lots of different things. So when, when Jim left school, the farmers were buying cars at that time, it was all Ford vans and things. Most of them didn't have a clue how to drive. They couldn't, um, 
put the car into gear and they didn't understand that you had to put it into neutral and you had to put it into four, you had to find reverse and things like that. And um, so he became accidental almost like the first driving instructor and getting the cars to go. So um, that's, that's how we learned his, um, his mechanic trade at the, at the early time. Then he he joined the army uh, after a while with farmers and driving tractors for them and things like that, and keeping the tractors going. So once he joined the army, he um, he bought himself his first motorbike, which at that time most motorbikes were called autocycles. In the old days, there was pedals and lots of them. The pedals start them, and then they use the engine and. They were very slow, but uh, BSA Bantam and uh, James one and a quarter were the usual motorbikes. So he got himself a, a James motorbike, B, uh, one and a quarter, and uh, he kept that going. And there was a magneto instead of a battery in them, and that's they were two stroke. <coughs> but now. Uh, <clears throat> so he, he went through like, his two years in the army and um, I remember my father and him trying to get the money together so that he could leave for England in the very, I, th I think to be something like about 59 uh, or so, 59 or something like that, yeah, or even earlier, 58, 1958, there was very little in Ireland, there was no jobs to be got so after he'd served his time in the army but he um, <coughs> eventually they, they got uh, seven uh, pounds ten shillings uh, I think it was borrowed uh, got the failed to sell the bike but my the, the motorbike the James but uh, my father kept the bike anyway and uh, Jim headed off for London and uh, at Paddington Station, his first port of call when he got to London, he got himself a job at the parcel office driving a, a three-wheeled uh, parcel delivery thing. And he had a, a, somebody with him to deliver the parcels. He was the driver. And uh, he kept that for a while, but uh, he... He didn't celebrate by going for a couple of pints or anything just because he secured himself a job, you know, cigarettes. He wasn't into that generous type of person. So uh, not most Irishmen would have headed for the nearest pub and had a couple of pints, but that wouldn't be Jim's style. But he quickly got himself, once he got his wages, he got himself a, a T.O., a, well, not a T.O., but a... Um, a, a, a little sports car, um, which would be a, a MG, MG Midget, with the spoked wheels and a spare wheel up at the, at the back of it, and it was red, mo most of them were red, and uh, he, he drove that for a long time and um, kept, kept it on the road. And eventually, he got himself work with uh, Roots, uh, were, uh, Hillman's in in, in uh, London. And he got himself into Roots as a, a mechanic. And um, he learned his trade, you know, like, uh, never served at a day for, for it as an apprenticeship. But he was like a natural mechanic. And eventually, he got into Standard Triumphs in uh, Park Royal and they were a big uh, car company that uh, had lots of uh, sports cars, a little, um, you know, they, they had TR1s and TR2s, van car, big cars like Vanguards. Uh, the Triumph Herald was brand new at that time, it just came out onto the market and that was that. But, uh, Later, I, I joined him there as a very young lad. I was only about 15 or 16. And um, 
I joined him within the company and at that time Jim was promoted from uh, being a, a mechanic to be a diagnose, you know, he used to diagnose the, the problem with cars. So he used to drive down the Western Avenue, uh, down to the roundabout at the bottom, the East Acton roundabout, and back up to the garage, and he would write down on a clipboard what he's uh, idea, what was wrong with the car. There'd be a rattle of this or that, and he'd find out, he'd bring it in, give it to a mechanic, and uh, collect another one that was was done, worked on, and he would test that. And again, he'd either give it the all cleared in or, um, or back for more uh, work. So he had, he, he, had, he had progressed and he had, he, he was taught that, that much in, in standard time that he was, um, you know, he was the man to diagnose rather than the man who got in under the bonnet. But he went to United States then uh, uh, after about two years of being, you know, once he became a top mechanic in London. And he got into the a niche market in uh, California as um, a British and European car specialist because most Americans uh, had big big old American cars at that time and, uh, and uh, you could walk around the sides of the engines that were huge but most British cars and uh, European cars you couldn't get your hand in anywhere around the engine it was all, all compact and it took a, a, a certain man to do that kind of work so Jim got in with a, a guy there that was doing 40, 60 was the basis of that he was working. Everything came through the door. Jim got uh, forty percent, and the owner the, and the boss of the thing got the sixty. So eventually, when um, he was retiring, the man that he was working for, he, he Jim bought the, the the garage from him, and he had his first garage in in California. And he started racing cars then. He had um, a Royal, a Royal, a small racing car, and he raced on the circuit. Uh, and he had a Pepsi Cola uh, sponsor. But as he got older then, he, um, he raced on the Formula Ones, and he had two McLarens with the big uh, slick tires on them and a huge big Formula Ones. And he raced on the same circuit as Paul Newman. And he, he kept, you know, that, that up in, and, and he kept buying other parts, uh, you know, like uh, as other lots were coming up for sale, like a body shop and a, a, a showroom. So he was showing and selling uh, British classic cars, like Rolls Royces and E-type Jags, S-type Jags, and he had the full range of, uh, of British cars. But uh, he's uh, now set coming up for his uh, 80th birthday, and I'll let Jim introduce himself, because I, I know that he is a, a genius, but I want you to make up your own mind, and you can see Jim will talk to you now himself. We do. We done a, a, a video from the back of a, of, a, of his Tesla. He, he now at eight years of age, he bought himself a Tesla. This is an electronic car that can do from zero to sixty in two seconds flat. And uh, I'll let you see it now. When I you know, when it's autopilot, you don't even touch yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's going to take off. And the oh god, the speed is something else. It, it's faster than anything, in fact. Yes. Anything. Yes. You see the steering here that we're yeah, yeah. And no handle. No handle. And it's steering. Yeah. 
And then on the freeway at 70 miles an yeah, hour, yeah, yeah. you know, on the motorway, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it'll, you know, if it just stays there, it slows down and yeah, things yeah. off. You can literally sit back, but it yeah, still yeah. asks you every once in a while, it'll come up here, beep, beep, yeah, yeah. hands on the wheel. Yeah. And it wants to do that to make sure that you're still here and you're not asleep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's, it's, that's the way it is. So it's like all the built in the safety. Yes. That the driver is okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what's wrong here. No, that is, that is something else. But that speed is something good. Oh, no, right. it's, it, the acceleration is outrageous. Well, it's 0 to 60 in 4 seconds. And uh, this one ha doesn't have the P, it has the D, yeah. which is dual wheel drive, and it's the yeah, sport. Yeah. But the P have what they call ludicrous. Yeah. And the mode, you can turn it on here for ludicrous. Yeah, and what's that? And mean? that is faster than a Formula 1 car. Yeah, yeah. It does 0 to 60 in 3.2 yeah, yeah. seconds. Yeah. What do you think of that uh, car off? The speed of that? Jesus, yeah. I, I didn't get, yeah, I didn't get the speed on camera though, that was the thing. <laughs> I didn't get the speed on camera, unfortunately. No. no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Will you do it for us again, Jimmy? <laughs> That's Jesus it. Jesus Christ, my belly. I'm yeah, no. <laughs> Why am I asking for this? this no, is you, won't get, you won't get the <laughs> time, I say. What? I say there's two roads too busy. It, no, it's not safe to be doing it. Really. Oh, no, no, no. But, uh, but uh, something else that they can do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, the noise that yeah. kind of speed. Yeah. There's nothing but... Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to do that. Just if it takes... It's, it's rocket. <laughs> it's like sitting on a rocket. <laughs> No, it's, it's, there's just nothing, uh, you know, the, it's really funny sometimes, you know, people come up and have this really loud yeah. Porsche or Corvette yeah, 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 or something. Yeah, and revving it. And yeah. they're revving it and they're there and they're ready yeah, yeah, to take yeah. off. Yeah. And I, I've, I've done it a couple of times, I just go off and I take it easy. And I wait till I come to the he next... He would always black out this from, you know, always. <laughs> and then I, I wait for the next set of traffic lights. And I just put my foot on. Jesus Christ. Do you know what he had one time, Paddy? I'm, this is no joke. He had a Ford... Uh, um, oh, the Anglia. Yeah. He had an old Anglia. And yeah. it looked like a real old vintage thing, though. Like <laughs> you see me go around with, with the people in it. Yeah. And he had a big, uh, a big straight engine. six <laughs> engine and an electronic gearbox and I don't know what more overdrives. And yeah, he, no, he'd go behind the Jag in the M1. And yeah. the, uh, that side it <laughs> and the jag would be trying to you know putting up another gear and you see the smoke coming out of it and he'd wait until the jag was flat out and then he'd go out onto the other lane and boom just leave him there <laughs> he was doing that years ago jesus christ oh, <laughs> well, and, no, the, and this thing now would beat all that oh yeah 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 now this is just this is just uh, i couldn't resist this car I, I sold out everything I did. <laughs> yeah. I said, I want this car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before I die. Yeah, I don't you know? blame you. I don't blame you. It's quite a, no. Before I mean, I, it's your thing, like, if you, yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. love cars. And, yeah, yeah. And why not? Yeah. Anyway, I have a, we're trying to, uh, well, we have to get Patty and all. What we're trying to do, arrange something from Monday, if it's yeah. possible. What it is, is this guy down from me. Yes. Uh, he has about five, maybe six, yeah. but I think he has five yeah. cars like yours. Oh, I but, but one of yeah, them, yes. that one of them is a pickup truck. Yeah, yes, yes. He has a Woody station wagon. They, 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 they are thirty twos. All I think thirty twos. Because thirty two was only one year, one car. Uh, that's what he has. And you know, you know, Jim, you know. Vertical grill. I, yeah. I'm giving you a poster today yeah. of my uh, 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 no, I'm, I'm trying to watch a magazine. I'm giving you, you a magazine. Uh, okay. Do I have to there, go past? Yeah, there, we're there. Do I have to go past? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, you go past it and then back. Yeah, come, up, and you come up the other one. Yeah, I have to make a release. Yeah, yeah, you know what you know. What I mean. You know this thing better than I do. I, I, I'm still trying to get used to it after a couple of days. The way we're driving at a different side of the road. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I well, Connell is oh, my driver oh, I here. I I, I I designated Connell as my driver while I'm here. I said, let the young fella do the drive. I'll park over this side. <coughs> Don't 
something else in the car. It, you, you should say it parking though. Yeah, when it, It'll when park you, itself. Oh yeah. 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 So a lot of cars do not know. You need, you need to have two cars and a curb. Yeah, yeah. You know, to parallel park. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it's all right here. But, but uh, uh, this is the future. <coughs> this, uh, and, huh? and this is the future motor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this, 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 this the guy that... You know, and that, this is built, you know, not far from here. Yeah, 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 I, 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 I mean... And I, I it, it, uh, Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, he's yeah. done, he, what he has done is something amazing. Yeah, yeah. In the last year, yeah. he has, you know, when they put, when they send the shuttle up to space, yeah, 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 you know, the yeah, capsule, yeah. the rocket part, yeah, yeah. for 40 years, yeah. that's been dumping into the ocean yeah. and burning up. Yeah, yeah. He's landed three oh, of them. I, I have to have on telly. I have that. Yes. On, yeah, yeah. He's landed two of them yeah, on the yeah, ocean. Yeah. And another one back on yeah, land, yeah. saving millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time ever done. Yeah. So it's it's done. It's better than the ocean. It's better than American. Better, yes. Better than Yes. Know. Yeah. And this is a young guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's I yeah, don't know, yeah. around forty or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like the computer people. Well, they that's what he there, is. He's there. a computer genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I they, mean, they, this whole thing. They both have been the Apple yeah. man. Yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, like this. Microsoft. Yeah, like this thing here. You, you can go on the internet on it. Yeah, it. yeah. You, know, you can do see the whole thing. The logo yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all on there. Phone calls. Yeah, yeah. All, all of it. And you can talk into it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You can say, what do I see here? Well, Play the Beatles music. Let's see if it'll come up. So you don't have to have yeah, any yeah. you don't have to have any CDs or yeah, discs yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or anything. You don't even have to put your hand down to touch anything no. just talking. No, and you can, like the, the you music. can uh, ask it to play what beat music. You know, yeah, yeah. certain music. Yeah, yeah. What the hell is moving carried away, is it? Oh. oh. Oh, he, oh, did he move the car for you? Oh, he probably did. That's what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you wouldn't take advantage of him. What are you doing, Patty? Huh? Yes. Do you want me to drive back there? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, go ahead. Pretty cool, huh? Oh yeah, Looking it is. <laughs> yeah. Not fast enough. No? <laughs> oh, oh, my. What did you got? My, did you my, my belly's still stuck in yeah. my backbone. Yeah, yeah. Down. You revved it up I a little bit. I have to go to the doctor to get it. Yeah. Bring, bring it back again. Yeah. What are you feeling me? Yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. He wants it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> You left them to go when you go back. Oh yeah, we have that one. Yeah. Yeah. We have that one. Well. Whoa! <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh no, it's something else. Like, it's like a rocket. Like yeah, a, it is. And, uh, in a split second, not, yeah. not second. Oh, it's yeah. instant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No clutch second. No second at yeah. all. <laughs> no clutch like second. Yeah. Automatic, is it? Or is it just... Oh, automatic. There's, there's no gearbox. No gearbox. Yeah. So it's not it's anything. Just, <laughs> yeah, just it's just, just instant. It's less to go wrong. There's nothing to go wrong. There's no oil changes. It's just uh, yeah. nothing. Okay. Uh, it's electronic. So How do you reverse? And you don't have it's to just a board. Oh, you, you do have... You, you don't have to shut anything off. You just get out. But yeah. at the very yeah. minute you leave the car, everything shuts out. Because you have to put it in reverse. That's what you hear. Reverse and forward. Reverse and forward. That's yeah. it. You know the tailgate they do, the poking I've been in plenty of those. My client has three. Oh, good. And, oh my god. It's like taking off in America. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you very much for having the patience to listen to me waffling and telling tell my story about Jim. But uh, I, I'm very ex excited about, you know, that my brother has made it so well. A man from Kinnerstina, a man that left school at 13 and uh, became one of the greatest mechanics probably ever. And uh, he's still excited about, uh, has a boyish enthusiasm for cars, as you can, as you have seen. And um, I, as Pat Shaw would say, he should be at least made a free man of, say, Tarmel or something like that, Pat Shaw would say. And I, I would agree with him. He, he needs to be recognised. For, for his great achievements in life and he's now coming up for his 80th birthday and you could make up your own mind from what you've seen. Bye.